There's another specimen with some visible gold that you can see right here. This is a, a, one of the most beautiful specimens I've, I've actually seen in my career. This is, there's, there's an awful lot of gold in, in this specimen in particular. Talking gold here with Golden Caribou and Frank Callahan live on site with the Core Shack. Frank, great to see you. And thanks for our cameraman, Trevor, for stepping in. Good to be here. All right, Frank, can you show us around? You uh, supposedly have visible gold to show the investors at home. Oh, we do, right here. We pull out a couple of specimens here. This is one specimen with a little bit of visible gold here. We're seeing it in the core. There's another specimen with some visible gold that you can see right here. This is another specimen. This specimen here in particular this has got visible gold throughout it. Um, this is, a, this is a, a, one of the most beautiful specimens I've, I've actually seen in my career. This is, there's, there's an awful lot of gold in, in this specimen in particular. So now we're seeing gold in the quartz, which is uh, what we've been looking for. Yeah, Frank, uh, recently you've released a drill result about 300 meters at half a gram a ton, roughly speaking. That was the country rock, and now you're finally drilling the quartz veins where actually the good stuff is located at. Uh, we're finding visible gold, like you've shown us, uh, multiple spots already. Perhaps you can put it into context. What kind of grams per ton are we talking about to actually have those spots of visible gold? You know, we don't know yet because the core still hasn't even been, it's just being logged now and it hasn't been split and sent into the lab. So we really don't know what the results of this are going to be but they'll they'll be they'll definitely be more than half a gram okay i mean uh, frank i mean you've got a whole team there on site so how about you show us uh, a little bit uh, around and uh, introduce us to your team so this is where we do some of the logging is done right here and then one inside we log for here we do more logging inside there's logging going on here this is with sebastian and julia and, and Frank, how many meters are you currently logging in now per day with the team? So we're, uh, we're probably doing um, uh, more than 100 feet a day. So like 30 meters. Wow. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. More than 30 meters a day. And uh, Frank, perhaps you can explain to the viewers at home what is logging actually and uh, how does it work? So this is the typical drill hole that's just been finished. Uh, that you can see right here that Sebastian's got. And they're looking for more visible gold in, in, in the samples. And uh, they've got one here. Sebastian will just show you one. This is it. So what we do is we go through the, after this hole's been drilled, then we log it so that we know what the geology is of the hole. And then they'll send that downstairs and they'll split the core. And then half of that core will go to the lab. The other half will stay on site. And that's just so that we have a backup of what we've done. And then we, it takes probably north of uh, three weeks for us to get the assays back once we've cut the core and sent it to the lab. Okay, definitely exciting stuff. And uh, how many holes have you now drilled, Frank? And how many holes of that have you actually been able to find visible gold in? Uh, the last three holes that we've drilled, we've actually seen visible gold. We're in a new area. We've stepped out about uh, approximately um, a little over a thousand meters. And, and we're in a, in a new area, it's called the halo zone. And um, we're just starting to drill that now. We've got uh, five drill holes into it uh, in one, and, and then we've just spun the drill in a different direction. And these last three drill holes have been the most exciting. The last three drills are the most exciting. Perhaps you can place that into a bit of context. You stepped out. Uh, you stepped out compared to your previous hole that you've done. So we have a map that uh, Trevor has put together. It's a LIDAR map. And um, we can, um, we'll show you that on LIDAR on where it is in terms of what the drilling that we've done. We're in a completely er a new area that's never been drilled by anybody before. And, um, and we're, we're just, we're testing this out. So this is, this is all new to everybody. Okay, very exciting stuff. And with what kind of time frame are we talking about for getting those first assays in? It'll take about a month. Thanks to some uh, movie and editing magic, Frank. We've moved you over to the drill. Thank you for taking the travel there. Uh, perhaps you can explain to us what's going on over there. Well, this is, they're, they're actually drilling. This is a, a, a new zone and actually a new discovery we've got in quartz veining right now, which is really quite exciting. Uh, we haven't seen any of the assays back yet, but we are seeing visible gold, which is really very exciting. And, um, this is a completely new zone. Um, we've, we're, this is our uh, fifth hole into the zone. Uh, three of them are into uh, quite significant quartz veining. So we're, we're, we're very excited about it. 
And Frank, how many meters is your team there drilling per day? So they're drilling um, about 40 meters a day per shift. 40 meters per shift. Okay, so are you working uh, in uh, two shifts, three shifts per day? How is this, how is operations organized? Yeah, so yeah, so we've been doing two shifts a day, a day shift and a night shift. And uh, right now we're, uh, we're we're in fire season, so we're being really careful about uh, everything that's going on around us. There's fires in, in different neighborhoods around here, so we're being very careful and we're, we're not working as much at night because of the... Uh, the chance of fire makes complete sense uh, safety first of course there and perhaps we can uh, place the drilling into context we have already gone to the core shack we've seen visible gold very exciting stuff how thick of an area are you finding these veins over are we talking five meters ten meters what kind of uh, vein mineralization are we finding so we're seeing veining from about uh, the 10 meter mark to uh, as much as uh, the about 200 meter mark is we're getting, they're, they're referred to as a stock work. So we're seeing a vein stock work um, is, is what we're, we're running into now, which is what we've been looking for. So we're, we're most excited about what's going on. And that's basically multiple veins stacked on top of each other. Is that, is that a good way to look at it? Yes, yes, it is. So we've seen there's a, a variety of different styles of veining that's going on. And uh, again, still, we don't have a very clear understanding as this is really a, a new discovery. No one's been out here before. Uh, it's untested ground, and um, and we're we're very fortunate. We're we're most excited. I mean, all the geologists are are, are very very happy. It's it's unusual to find um, this thickness of of veining that we're seeing, which is what we've been looking for and what the model says we should find. Okay, very exciting, and we're awaiting those assay drill results. We've already spe spoken about the time frames on that. Perhaps you can quickly explain to us the parallel trend that you're finding, because you're not just finding these veins in a small area, you're finding them across a larger area. And you have this in combination with gold in the country rock, which is very exciting. Perhaps explain that to us. So what we do is we, we're on a, we're on a, what we believe we're on a parallel trend where we're seeing this quartz veining. We're about uh, 860 meters away from the previous drilling that we have done. And um, it, we thought we were on trend, but we think now that we might be actually on a on a parallel trend. We haven't been able to confirm that yet, but uh, it's definitely looking that way. So the country rock is carrying gold. It's uh, it's a lower grade, more of an open pit style stuff. The quartz meaning we actually have absolutely no assays back yet. We are seeing visible gold throughout the core uh, in quartz veins, but we have no assays back yet, so we don't know what the grade of it is is going to be. But gold. Native gold and quartz usually leads to, uh, uh, it, 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 it'll definitely run better than what we've been seeing earlier in the country rock. This is what the old timers were mining. That, you know, they sunk the shaft on these quartz veins because of the native gold that they would see in the quartz. And, and that was, uh, that's what led to us, us to being able to make this, this operation work was because of what the old timers, when they sunk a shaft on these types of quartz veins, um, just because of the, the amount of native gold that, that they were seeing at the time, back in the 1860s. So here we are 160 years later, going after doing exactly the same thing as what the old timers were doing, although we're not sinking shafts, we're drilling on the, uh, we're drilling for it, and we think that the system is much larger than, than what we previously thought. Exciting drill season, Frank. Great that you're there on site and looking forward to those results from the lab. Yes, we are too. We're most excited, actually. So, uh, We'll stay tuned and we'll keep you, keep you apprised of how the progress proceeds. And now please turn back on the drill, huh? We need more meters. We are going to turn the drill back on. Thank you very much. <laughs>